Welcome to Oracle Enterprise Manager video training series. In this video, we'll talk about Intelligent Incident Compression, which is one of the framework features in Enterprise Manager 13C. My name is Yutaka Takatsu. I'm one of the product managers in Enterprise Manager product management team. As an Enterprise Manager user, you may monitor multiple targets in your data center. And you may think there are too many alerts generated. And this could be especially true when multiple targets raise alerts because of the same root cause of the problem. So a question you may have is this. How can I reduce the number of alerts in that situation? And that is a topic that I'm going to talk about in this recording. In the traditional IT monitoring, where there is a one-to-one -one mapping between event and alert, when one of your target goes down, you get one alert. Then what happens when two of your targets go down because the host went down? You get two alerts. Then what if there is a site-wide outage and all of your targets go down? You get one alert from each monitored entity, although they went down with the same reason. So this is a flood of alerts problem in IT monitoring. Because of the massive number of alerts you receive, Effective monitoring becomes impossible until the root cause of the outage is fixed. In Enterprise Manager 13C, we introduced Intelligent Incident Compression feature to particularly address these types of use cases. Using this feature, when a host or multiple hosts or even the entire site goes down, Enterprise Manager groups related events into a single incident and as a result, you can configure to send out only one email notification to administrators. This way, you can focus on real issues that truly need your attention. So this is a very high-level overview of the incident compression feature. So to reduce the number of alerts, the best practice here is to use the compression feature to group events into a single incident if those events relate to the same issue, so that you only need to deal with a single incident instead of managing multiple events or incidents separately. And we have a screenshot of Incident Manager in 12C, and this is when the compression is not used. Each event or incident shows up in list view. Down here at the bottom side of the screen, I have an Incident Manager in 13C. And this is when the compression is used. I only see two incidents, one for target down and one for metric alert. And each incident has five members included. So instead of managing 10 different events, you only need to manage two incidents with related events consolidated. So basically, compression feature allows you to manage multiple events in a single incident. But you may manage the alerting by email primarily, or you may forward the event or incident to third-party ticketing systems, such as ServiceNow. Then the question you may have now is this. How can I reduce the number of notifications, such as number of alert emails or number of tickets? So the compression is actually a new option in event rule feature, which is also a part of the incident rule feature. So using the rule feature, there are two steps to reduce the number of notifications. The first step is to create an event rule to compress the related events into a single incident. And this is what we have been talking about already in the previous slides. In addition to that, as a step two, you need to create a separate incident rule that executes a notification. So in order to send out only one email notification, event rule and incident rule, they have to be created separately and they have to be related. And the notification has to be executed by the incident rule side. So that was a quick overview for how the compression feature works. But you may still wonder when and how exactly you can use this feature. To understand that better, we have a couple of use cases. The first use case is when a database administrator who manages rack database systems wants to receive only one email alert when one or more members of the same rack system go down. And he can do this by first creating an event rule for the target down event. 
Then compress the events by the same ancestor target in select cluster database. Then create a new incident based on the grouping criteria and finally create an incident rule that sends out the email notification. And two points here in order to send out only one email alert. First of all, event rule and incident rule, they have to be created separately and they have to come as a pair. And the second point is that no email notification should be set at the event level. This has to be blank, otherwise you get tons of emails. Emailing has to be done at the incident rule side so that you only get one email for this issue. Another use case, a data center site administrator wants to receive only one email alert when there is a site-wide outage and all of his targets go down. He doesn't want to have hundreds of email coming into his mailbox, but he still wants to have a list of targets that are affected by this outage. And he can do this by creating an event rule to group agent unreachable events from all the targets in the data center. And again, there are two points to send out only one email notification. First of all, event row and incident row, they have to come as a pair. And alert notification, once again, this should be set at the incident row side, not at the event row side. So those are the two points in common when configuring notification with compression. So that was a quick introduction about compression. Now let's see this in the actual product. So what I have here is Enterprise Manager 13C. I have a database target homepage open in my screen, and I have four database targets configured, and three of them are in a down state. And in this Enterprise Manager setup, I don't have the compression enabled. So each down state generates a single alert. So looking at that situation in the Incident Manager page, as I expected, I have so many incidents showing up in my list view, and each of them sends out email notification. What that means is that in my mailbox, I get so many alert emails sent from Enterprise Manager, although these alerts relate to the same issue. So this is a flood of alerts problem that we are trying to resolve with the incident compression. So let's see how that works. I'm going to open another browser window where I have different Enterprise Manager setup running. And here the compression is enabled. So I'm logging into this site. And unlike the other site, all of my database targets are up and running. And the first thing I want to do in this setup is to confirm the compression is enabled. So I'm going to open a menu from Setup, Incident, Incident Rules, to go to the Incident Rule homepage, expand this node, and there are my compression rules. I have three rules in my rule set. The first two are event rules, and the last one is an incident rule. The first rule is to compress target down events and create a single incident. And the second rule, this is to compress the metric alert events and create a single incident. And finally, the third rule, this is an incident rule, which sends out email notification based on the incidents that are created by the above two event rules. So they are my compression rules, and I can also confirm all of them are enabled. Now let's take a quick look at the configuration window to review the grouping options. In this rule, target down events are compressed by the same host. What this means is that all the target down events coming from the same host will be consolidated into a single incident. Alternatively, you can select the compressed events by the same target or by the same ancestor target type, such as cluster database or web logic domain, or by the same generic systems or by the category or specific event name, such as target down. Closing this out, Okay, so now I confirm that my compression is enabled. The next thing I want to do is to purposefully shut down the database instances so that I can test out the compression feature because I want to see whether this is actually going to reduce the number of notifications. So I'm going to open terminal windows, each running SQL plus, and what I'm going to do is to shut down my databases for the test purpose. 
Okay. So I'm going back to my database target homepage, and I could confirm that three of my databases are currently in a down state. And this is apparently because I just shut down the database instances. The next thing I want to do is to verify whether this actually reduced the number of incidents. So I'm going to the incident manager page. And I only see two incidents open my screen, which is good. One for target down and one for metric alert. And each incident has five members included. So what happened here was that 10 alerts were compressed into two incidents. So you only need to work on two incidents instead of managing 10 different events with separate efforts. I'm going to narrow down to one of the incident, open this in a different tab to see more details. And the summary says there are five target availability events coming from the same host. And down here, I see a list of events that are compressed into this incident because they happened around the same time on the same host. So this demonstrated the capability of the compression feature to reduce the number of incidents. But what about the notification? So I'm going to my mailbox. And just like we saw in Incident Manager page, I only got two emails received from Enterprise Manager, one for target down and one for metric alert. Opening one of the email, and here's the content. I see a list of targets that are affected by this particular outage or failure. And in this case, they are the database instances that I shut down myself. So I only get one email for target down, but that includes the information for what is going on overall. So if I want to see more details, I can click the link in the message, and this will bring me to the corresponding incident page in Enterprise Manager so that I can either fix the problem there or perform more investigation. So this concludes the demonstration of the incident compression feature. So the compression feature in Enterprise Manager 13C provides automatic compression of multiple events into a single incident, which reduces volume of both incident and notification. And as a result, it promotes more efficiency in your system management. For more information, we have online documentation available from the URL showing in the screen. We also have a most note that provides step-by-step -step instruction describing how to configure a rule set to create one compressed incident and to notify the administrator of such compressed incident via email. This is the end of the recording of Intelligent Incident Compression Presentation. Thank you for watching.